All right, let's take a stab at this limited time series for Porsche 935, the 2019 edition. All right, I have already posted the series overview where I went over the PR requirement and uh, all the other relevant information like the cost uh, upgrade tree to meet the PR requirement in here along with some extra information related to this car's like bonus series it's featured in. Anyway that's not what we're here to do here we're actually gonna see if we can make our way through this event as there are now three hour countdown has started for instant service and the uh, instant uh, R&D on upgrades, the racing dollar upgrades. So let's get those done right away. So I'll just get three upgrades on engine here, because that's what I'm going to need. And I'll get another three for drivetrain. And three for body. And they're all racing dollar, gold racing dollar combination, as you can see here. All right, next category, uh, exhaust and brakes. And finally, tires and wheels. Come on. All right, so PR 88.9, that's quite sufficient for what I need to get done here. So let's uh, just make our way through. Autocross at Daytona, 52 seconds and change is the target. Just about what you expect uh, for Daytona Autocross. These events are pretty long here. And here we go. But with some time to spare, look at that. Check out the interior view. All right, so that is the trophy number one of 45 needed. So One down, 44 more to go. Uh, if you run right through, you should be able to complete it in a couple of hours and then some. Uh, so let's continue on. Speed snap at Melbourne should be a pretty short challenge. What's the target? 175.3. One of the shorter events. Speed snap at Porsche Test Track is also pretty short, along with Manza Jr. Actually, both Manza course, right? The road course is fairly short as well. Don't. <laughs> that was pretty awful. Uh, unintentionally slowing down the bot here. Should I bother slowing down bots? Um, considering that my car is not fully upgraded, I should probably be careful how much I win these races by, especially when there are some easier ones, especially early on. So. All right, 
175 and changes what I... Yep. Now when I was crossing that finish line. Alright, so... Two gold trophies down. Which leaves me with 43 more to go. So let's continue on to the cup, which will wrap up the tier one Silverstone Bridge Grand Prix. Just a single lapper. Should be a pretty quick event. Looks like a grid of what, 16? I think. Eight on each side. Got the other two official liveries uh, showing up in this grid. A little bit of variety, always nice to see. Chapel curve out onto the hangar straight. The stow. Yes, I have been doing a lot of Formula 1 these days, so every car feels very slippery. I guess last one I did a lot of it was uh, a Gera, which was also pretty slippery. Considering how fast it was going, right? So that will do it for this single lap cup at the Bridge Grand Prix circuit of Silverstone. Minute 45 and change. some 1100 fame points for that effort all right hmm. about half of the service bars down but of course if you take advantage of the instant service then you wouldn't have to worry about that much so anyway tier one is complete unlocks tier 2 plus earn 5,000 racing dollars so we'll continue on with a tier 2 in the next video so stay tuned and we'll catch you there